today i'm going to show you uh, how to use data table js and uh, using that data table js how to export uh, the table in pdf in uh, excel in csv and how to print that so there are uh, three to four options that data table js gives and uh, how to actually implement that i will going to show you in this video so guys, if you guys didn't subscribe to my channel if you guys are new to my channel so i would request to everyone kindly subscribe to my channel thank you so much for that and let's move ahead with the topic so like i discussed you uh, that uh, using data table js i have just created this table uh, i will tell you exactly how i have created this table so now what i have to do is like uh, i have to uh, put an export button export to csv export to pdf or export to excel and or print uh, there are three to four options which is available in data table js so how to actually use that okay so to continue uh, with that uh, i will first show you uh, how i have created this data table js it's really simple guys so this is my index.html so first of all you have to uh, take the css data table main.css uh, which is a cdn library okay means content delivery network you can directly uh, call this url and just paste it over here okay uh, I, I will also put this uh, libraries you are in the description so so that you guys have to just copy and paste second thing is like we have to use this jquery uh, js okay the, this is very compulsory uh, because without the jquery min.js uh, no jquery will going to execute okay and third and most important is data table min.js and uh, they have uh, a lot of functions written in their own min.js and we have to include that that is very important for us after that guys we have to just create a table in that table in the last videos of the data table js which i have created there also i have mentioned that any table should have id that is very compulsory and any table should have a table heading that is also compulsory and table body these three things are important and you can ignore the table footer and a basic step to uh, use the data table js, JS is like we have to create a table and have to give the id okay you see the example id here and id here and data table uh, this is a function you just have to copy this function okay and uh, in the in my previous videos i have explained how to enable or disable sorting how to enable or disable paging and uh, how to sort the ordering and all those things so now in this example i am going to show you how to export okay this is the exp uh, like this is a uh, table and how to export the table okay guys so if you go here uh, if you see uh, i have already uh, open a google in that google if you just search uh, let me minimize this uh, thing okay if you guys uh, search a data table js to export excel okay uh, the very first thing that you uh, will see is like export file export okay when you click on that you will see this example now you see that we have a lot of option that uh, we can export this csv export this excel we can copy this table we can uh, print in pdf we can print this table okay so guys how exactly it works so the very important thing is like uh, to do these things these are very essential js library which is very important uh, which will support uh, these things to export like for example uh, data tables button min js without the uh, without this the buttons will not going to uh, support without this flash min dot js jzip this all like pdf make without pdf make pdf button will not work okay so these like without print dot min dot js the print button will not work so these libraries are really important in, in order to do that so guys let's uh, use a step by step so i what i will do is as i told you we have to just copy it from here okay and we have to paste it so i will just do Control d and i will paste it here so guys one more thing uh, if you are using http site or http site, https site so i would recommend to remove these things https colon remove this so what will happen is like if your website is using http so automatically the cdn uh, will take the library from the http server if your server website is having https so uh, the serial library will take the HTTPS URL from your server. Okay. So what I have added is I have added a button min.js. So let's add another. Okay. Let's go here and let's add another. I will just copy till here so that I don't need to delete the HTTPS again and again. Okay. We have added this. Then using Control D in the Notepad, uh, you can uh, using Control D in the Notepad, you can just create a new line. Okay like this i will do it again just Control d and you see the new line came so i will just copy these things quickly uh, so that we can just uh, try to implement all those things that we are discussing so i will have this 
so after this two more libraries that we have to include okay after that we have to use the html window.js i will just copy this i will just paste it here okay and the last one the last one is pin button dot window.js okay so let's do this so now uh, we have everything added okay now after doing this uh this is not the step after doing this we have to do a couple of more things uh, like for example if you see guys here we have to add buttons okay buttons we have to add and we have to add buttons here i'm just doing it comma and i'm adding the button buttons so the first button is copy the can button csv third is excel pdf and print so let's see uh did, did we get those buttons i will just clear the cache so at any condition there should not be any cache okay so i'm just uh, deleting the cache because sometimes javascript uh, uh, doesn't work due to cache okay uh so guys here i think we are getting some error so exactly we will see what error we are getting okay so if you go to the console if you go sometime it might happen with you guys also if you are trying to implement and it doesn't work so there might be uh you see uh, there is like error data table js is not a function so let's go here and see what exactly the issue is uh one moment guys so guys uh, the error was because uh, we are using a different version of uh, jquery uh, previously and uh, uh, what i'm doing is now i will just copy this uh, one moment so uh, if you see i will just copy this okay uh, the this one is like jquery 3.5.1 and we are using 3.3.1 okay so i will just replace this and also i think we are using uh, like 1.10.20 but here they have given 1.10.21 okay let's copy this and uh, let's paste this okay okay then again let's check it uh again let's check it and i think i will also have to add this one dom uh, be ripped okay so before that so if you guys didn't add this dom bf uh, trip like i didn't add it right now and i will just try to refresh you see the error has been gone uh, we have we don't have the error now and the, it is executed properly so you see the data table just executed properly but we didn't get the export buttons so uh, for that uh, what we have to do is we have to copy this line okay dom bf trip and we have to paste it here okay so after doing that uh, let's see again go back and refresh the page and let's see how it works now so yes if you guys see uh, we have all the buttons here we can export in the excel we can export in the pdf we can export in the print so let's have an example of excel so let's try to export the excel we have this okay and now i will just try to open this now let's see whether it works or not so it's downloaded excel takes some time to uh, open just a second let's see how much time it will take. Uh, also guys before doing that uh, we have to also include this uh, this css which is uh, buttons.datatable.min.css okay we didn't added that so i will just do control d here and i will paste it here so this is also good now now let's go back and refresh the page and uh, let's see how it works just a moment guys so guys once i just copy this so and once i refresh you see the buttons are looking nice because of you're using that uh, uh, buttons.css okay so now if you see if i if you click on excel uh, it's just showing dot xls okay the reason behind that is that uh, we didn't use title on the html page okay if i just use title uh, we have to uh, use the proper html format uh, this is just a, a random demo example i'm giving you so i'm uh, means uh, so that's why i didn't uh, take the html tags like doc type meta tag header title and all those things but now here what i will do is i will just uh, uh, write it so uh, title demo uh, data table data table js okay so let's close the title now again open the page and refresh it so once you refresh it okay now the the title has came here okay now just click on pdf if i click on pdf so yeah data demo data table js yes, okay now if you click on excel so yeah you see so now if i click on that open now let's see how much time it will take 
okay it's uh, opening it quickly now so still it will take some time a couple of seconds so let's wait for the same mm -hmm. one moment guys okay the excel has been opened now you see all the records has came here the name the position the office age whatever we have like the name accountant and the name is Aries Setu uh, accountant Tokyo age date exactly everything is came in the excel the same thing if you try in the pdf so let's hope the pdf should get open quickly so i will just check it now so okay the pdf is open uh, demo data table js pdf okay guys you see all the data has been exported to the pdf and now let's see let's click on print so you see print is very simple it's showing in the printed format uh okay uh, it's also giving option to print uh, if you have uh, connected if you have your printed connected uh with your laptop or something like that so it will uh, give you the print as well so let's click on csv i guess the difference between csv and excel is like csv is a comma separated value that so will give you the comma separated value and excel uh, is dot xls it will give you the excel uh like in each cell so so you can use any one of them uh, depending on the requirement of yours okay you see the extension csv is here and for that xls you see the extension is xls so guys this is how uh, we can add these buttons and uh, rest of the things i have already mentioned them in my previous videos like how to enable disable sort how to enable disable search how to enable disable paginations all those things so guys if you like this video if you understood how we have used the data table js and how to use those export buttons and all those things and if you really like this video so guys i would request everyone to kindly subscribe to my channel and uh, so and yeah you can share with your friends and family uh with about like whoever like in your circle who is looking for data table js example you can share with them and thank you so much for watching once again thank you so much bye bye